Good afternoon, Miss Johnson's class. Good afternoon, Can you guys, 7.5 negative numbers, can you guys work below zero on a number line? Yes. What's an integer? So it can't have a decimal or a fraction part? No. Opposite, yeah, we're good with that one. Um, positive and negative numbers. So positive and negative numbers, if we're talking about a number line, so here's my number line. What side are, and this is zero, what side is the positive numbers on? Right. So like over here? Yeah. What side is the negative numbers on? Yeah. We good with that? So I gave you, holy cow, look at all these problems right here. I gave you all 15 of these problems, right? I'm sure all these problems are not 15 of them, but 7 through 15. What do you think is the key about solving any of those problems? What about them? What about them? Use them. Because all of these numbers are dealing with some sort of negative. Either you're going to the negatives or you're starting in the negatives, right? In 25 years of teaching, that's where I see the most mistakes. Anytime we're dealing with negative numbers. Use a number line and you're going to eliminate most of those mistakes, okay? Temperature. Can temperature be negative? Yes. Can it go into the positives? Yes. What does this thing look like? What does it look like in math, though? Because it is, right? Uh, fish. Are fish a negative distance below? I'm sorry, are fish below sea level? So we technically say they're at like a negative, like a depth that is negative, right? Yeah. But can they be a negative distance apart? No. Can anything be a negative distance apart? No. Bank accounts. Oopsies. Can bank accounts actually be in the negatives? Yes. So you can't have distances that are negative, but you can have bank accounts that are negative? Yeah. And you can have temperatures that start in the negatives but warm up to the positives? Yeah. Is it really important that we really think about problems before we solve them? Yes. 